to insert symbols in Excel. Most of you know how to insert a symbol in Excel. Just click on the Insert tab. Go to the right edge of the tab, click on this symbols. From here, you can select any font you want. From here, you can select any symbols. There are plenty of symbols here, mainly Wingdings, Wingdings 1, Wingdings 2, I. The Wingdings 3 are the main fonts, which contains almost all the symbols that we usually use. Then click on this Insert button to insert the symbol in the corresponding sound. Today, we are going to learn how we can insert these symbols automatically according to a condition. In this example, there are some questions on the left side column. When we select the applicable option in the second column, the tick sign appears on the third column, and when we select the not applicable option, the tick sign changes into a cross sign. Let's start from the scratch. Click on this plus icon to create a new sheet. In the new sheet, adjust the column width by dragging like this. I want to increase the height of the rows. For that, click on the Home tab and select Format. From the drop-down, select Row Height. Option, current row height is 14.4. I am changing it to 30. Then click on the OK button. For easiness, I am copying these questions from the previous sheet and pasting it to this sheet. Adjust the row and column height by dragging like this. In the second column, I want the user to pick A from a list rather than typing it. For adding this dropdown, click on the Data tab, click on the Data Validation. From the options, select Data Validation. In the Data Validation dialog box, click on this down arrow and select List from the options. In this source box, you can select your source from the cells by clicking on this icon, but here I am just directly typing it. For each option, I have to separate it by a comma. Type applicable. Then put a comma, type not applicable, then, then click on the OK button. Now you can see a small arrow on the right side of the cell. When we click on this arrow, you can see the two options. Now we want to apply these drop downs to the cells below it. For that, move the cursor towards the bottom right edge of that cell. Then the cursor symbol become like this. Then click and drag down like this to apply it to the other cells. Now the drop downs are applied to the cells we need. For seeing it more clearly, I am changing the font to Times New Roman and increasing the font size and also make cells into bold like this. Now we need to insert the symbols in these cells. If inserted manually, it won't change automatically when we change the option. But like this, symbols must change when we select different option from the drop-down. So we need to use it inside a formula. We are going to use the most common and simple formula in Excel, which is the if function. If function has three parts. First part is the logical condition part. This part gives either true value or false value. The second part is the true value part. And the third part is the false value part. If our condition is true, then the cell displays whatever we type in true part. If the condition is false, the cell displays whatever we type in the false part. That's how the if function works. Type be equal sign and type if, then you can see the Excel gives hint about the function like checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. First, we have to provide the condition, the cell next left to our cell which is B2 has applicable in it or not, based on that our symbol change, for applying this condition, select the cell B2 then type equal and type applicable in the double quotes, this is a text value, that's why we have to put it in the double quotes. When you highlight these area, you can already see the logical result, either true or false. Put a comma to go to the next part of the formula, which is the true part. You can see earlier logical part was highlighted here. Now the true part got highlighted. In this part, we actually need the tick symbol. For applying the tick symbol, we need to know another function also. So for the time being, we put yes here in the double quotes, then put comma. Now the false part is highlighted. Put no in the double quotes for the time being, just to understand how the if function works.
After that, drag the formula down to copy the formula to the other cells. If you double click on the cells, you can see the formula. Here the formula become B3 instead of B2 because when we drag down the cell reference changes, this is called relative cell referencing. If you look on the formula below the cell, then it would become B4. We got the formulas correct. When the B column value is applicable, the value in the right column become yes and otherwise become no. Our next job is to replace the yes with a tick symbol and no with a cross sign. Before moving on, we should know about ASCII value. It stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Every character we type, computer takes it as the ASCII value. It is unique for each character. For example, the ASCII value for the capital A is 65 and small a is 97, like that every character has its unique ASCII value. In Excel, there is a function called char. This function takes the input as the ASCII value and displays the corresponding character. Suppose if we give 65 as the input for this function, it gives capital A. And if we give 97 as the input, this function will display small a. So, if we can find the ASCII value of our symbols, with the help of this char function, we can display it in the cell. For that, go to the Insert tab, then click on the symbols. In the new dialog box, select the font you need. I am here selecting Wingdings 2, then scroll down to find the tick and cross symbols. When we click on the symbols, on the bottom side, you can see the character code here. We need that code number. Here for the tick sign, the character code is 82 and for the cross sign, the character code is 84. You should also remember the font you have selected, which is Wingdings 2. I am not inserting it. I only need the character code and the font here. Now click on cancel button. Now select the cell, type equal, then type char. Open the bracket, then type the character code for the tick symbol, which is 82, then close the bracket and press enter. But the tick symbol doesn't appear. The problem is you have to change the font type of the cell to Wingdings 2. For that click on the Home tab. And select the Wingdings 2 as the font. Now you can see the tick symbol. Just increase the font size for better appearance. Now inside the char function, change the code number to 84 and press enter. Now the symbol changes into cross sign. This information we can use it in our if function. Select the cell, type equal sign, then type if, open the bracket, in the condition part, select the cell B2 and type equal sign, then type, applicable in the double quotes. Put comma to go to the true part. Here we need to display the tick symbol. For that type, char and open bracket. Character code for the tick symbol is 82. So type 82 and close the bracket. And put comma to move to the false part. Here we need the cross symbol. For that type, char, open bracket. Character code for the cross symbol is 84. So type 84 and close the bracket. Again close the bracket. To close the if function, then press enter. Then change the font type to Wingdings 2. Increase the font size and do the center alignment for better looking. Then drag the formula down to copy it into other cell. Now you can see, when the B column value is applicable, tick sign appears. When we change it into not applicable, tick sign changes into cross symbol. Let's do an another example. Here we have to provide the ratings. Suppose if the rating is 3, then 3 stars should appear on the right side of the cell. Likewise, the number of stars should appear according to the rating number. First, we have to provide the drop-downs to the rating column. For that, go to the Data tab. Then click on Data Validation. 
from the drop-down Select Data Validation. In the new dialog box, click on this arrow and select list from the options. Here type 1 to 5, separated by a comma, then click OK button. Now the drop-down is applied to the cell, drag it down like this to copy it to the cells below it. On the right side we have to insert the star symbol, for that find the character code of the star symbol by clicking on the insert tab. And click on symbols, from there select, wingdings to as the font. Scroll down to select the star symbol you want. I am selecting this one, look for the character code in the bottom, it is 227. Then click Cancel. Just by using the char function alone won't give us the result, because char function displays the star symbol only one time, so we have to use the char function inside and another function called repeat. Repeat function takes two arguments as inputs, one is the character and the other is the number of times that character should display. Click on the cell then type repeat, open the bracket. Here the first argument is the character. We need the star symbol here. For that type, char, then open bracket, then type the character code of that star symbol, which is 227. Close the bracket and put comma to go to the next part of the formula, which is the number of times. Here we want the star to appear according to the rating point, so select the rating column, then close the bracket and press enter. Here we got it correctly as 3 stars according to the rating number. Then move the cursor towards the right edge of the cell. When the cursor become like this, drag the cells down to copy the formula to the cells below it. When we change the rating number, the number of stars are changing accordingly. We can also create some beautiful patterns like this using the repeat function and char function. Two things we should be aware of while inserting the symbols using the char function. One is the character code and the other is the font name of the symbol. And also you should change the cell's font name to the font name of the symbol to display the symbol correctly. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get more such videos.